What's up YouTube, this is Print Today TP101 and in this video I have another top 10 Cydia tweaks that runs on iOS 8. So yeah, so first thing you want to do guys is jailbreak if you're not already jailbroken, I'll link in the description of that. And another thing you want to do is open up Cydia and you want to add this source. So let Cydia load and do its thing. Go to sources, then you want to hit edit, add and the source, the source you want to add is repo dot insanely i dot com and after you do that you just want to hit add source I already have it so I'm going to hit cancel just want to add the source it's going to say are you sure you want to add and you're going to say add anyway and blah blah so this is the source right here repo dot insanely i so after you add that you want to down, just download the first tweak. So the first tweak is called Pandora Download. What this allows you to do is download any music from Pandora that you're playing. So I could open up Pandora. So, oh. Turn that down. And just hit the arrow right here. And see, so it says save, save song. Tap on that. And it's going to take you to here. And that's where you're going to save it. That's where all the songs will go. That's, all the songs that you download will go right here. And the Pandora downloader app. So that's it right here. Downloader, say P downloader. Go right there. And the song that you were just listening to in Pandora. So Jay Z, DOA. If I exit out, go back to Pandora download. There it is, right there. Just download it, and I could just play it from right here. You know what I mean, so that's a real cool one. Uh, somebody requested a music one, and I love this one. This is my favorite. Uh, every phone that I jailbreak, I download that. So that one is Pandora download. Let's you download music from Pandora into a separate app, and you could just play them whenever you like. So okay guys, so the second one is called CC Settings iOS 8. So CC Settings 8. So what that does is basically gives you more settings into your um, control center. You see right here? It's hard to see because I have a white background. But I have a lot more settings. I could even kill all the apps right from in control center. So I could slide up, hit the trash can right there. I know all the apps that were in the background. Is gone. So that's that's what CC setting does. It could go into settings. Damn, my, the heat just came on. I'll go to settings. See CC settings right there. You could dismiss control center. There's a whole bunch of stuff you could set up in here. I mean, when you download it, just go through it and do your thing. Set it up how you like it. But I'm just gonna give you guys a brief rundown of what the tweet does. So that's my second one. That one is called CC settings eight. And my third one is called Mobius. Mobius, this is what Mobius does. It gives you continuous scrolling. So I have three pages of apps on my phone. So one, two, three, and then it goes back to one. It doesn't stop. Usually it stop right at the last page. Then you have to go back. Now with Mobius, you just continuous, continu continuous scrolling right through. Okay, guys. So my fourth one is called Dock Shift. And what that does is basically let you trick out your dock right down here could make it transparent which I have right here you can see right through it so if I change my wallpaper I'm going to change my wallpaper to that one set home and if I come in close you can see that the it's completely transparent you can see right through that so that's what I like about this tweet guys it just it doesn't it just opens up the whole screen real estate not with that little shade at the bottom. So if I go to go down, go to dock shift, where's it at? And then you could go in here and set it up. Got it on transparent right now. You could choose any one of these. And also you could do all these preferences right there. Hide the dots, page dots and all that. So yeah, I'm not gonna go in too much into it too much because if I Want to switch it? I have to respring, and I don't want to do that. So you guys could set it up how you want it when you download it. And then my fifth one is called Activator. 
So activator this right here. When you download certain tweaks, you will get activator. You would automatically download and you could go in there and just use certain gestures to do certain things. Like you could pinch and you could use it from the lock screen. You could shake and once you hit it, you just go here and choose whatever you want to do. So I have mine set up where if I hold both volume buttons at the same time, my phone will go into safe mode. And that's what I do just in case I download a tweet that is not really compatible and my phone going to like somewhere I can't go in the city. I just hit that and it go into safe mode, then I go into city, then I uninstall the tweet, come back out, and I'm good. So that's just what I do. So that's activator. I gotta download it, play with it, and yeah, you should be fine. Okay, so my sixth one is called slide to kill. So if I open up my app switcher and I want to delete all these apps both of these apps. All I have to do is just slide down on the app just like that and look it's gone. So I could open up that open up that one open up that one I want to delete them all out at once because iOS doesn't normally let you do this. Slide down and they're all gone. So that one a real cool one guys it's called slide to kill light download it from Cydia and then my seventh one is called tiny bar tiny bar has always been one of my favorite tweaks and what this does is if I get a notification it's not it, it's not as big it just pop up it's just a little line right at the status bar it's not as big as the stock iOS version of iOS 7 so if I go to settings tiny bar you see right here I could set it up I could blacklist certain apps from showing up at all. And I could switch out the banner. You see that right there? That's how tiny bar works. It's just a little bar you could set a show if you want the title or not. Show icon. You see the icon in the corner? Show the title. You see the title right there? So, the, so that's basically what tiny bar does. It just makes your notification pop up up top real small. So yeah, so that's my seventh one. Now the eighth one is called Better 5 Icon Dock. And as you can see right there, I got five icons in my dock. So all you have to do is just download Better 5 Icon Dock. And you'll be able to just drag one of the apps and put it right down there. And you got five icons in your dock, which I really love this this way. I always wanted that. So yeah, that's the one, Five Icon Dock. And the ninth one is called date status date in status if you look up top you see I got my date and my time in my status bar so it's November 8th and it's 11 17 a.m. in the morning and usually you don't see that but date in status download it and it automatically works it's just gonna show you date in your status bar so that's my ninth one and my tenth one guys is called double check and what this does this is a message and tweak Hold on. Let me set up a new one. And what this does, as you can see, I'm sending a message to Prince, which is myself. And if you look right down here in the type box, you see I message to Prince. That's what that does. It basically puts the name of whoever you're texting in the little box right there. So before you text, you definitely know that you're texting that person just in case you might send a text to the wrong, wrong person. This is just. It just, that's the only way I see it working as in you don't make a mistake and send it to the wrong person but that's what that one does that it's called double check and it puts the name of whoever you're texting in the box before you start texting but once you start it goes away so and there it is so I'm sending a message to Prince and it said I message to Prince right there in the box so there you go guys Another 10 tweaks. They're not the best tweaks because most of the best tweaks haven't been updated yet. I just wanted to keep you guys updated with some of the tweaks that actually work. And I also did another top 10, which it would be linked in the description. And the jailbreak video will be linked in the description as well. It's Prince of the ATP 101. Rate, comment, definitely subscribe. And shout out to Drizzy. I think his name is Drizzy. He's the one that wanted to make, wanted me to do a tweak on a music music tweak and that's where the Pandora download came in so shout out to him uh, man I might have got your name wrong but it is what it is shout out to you peace thanks for watching